You know what this is, don't you? Fashion chili bali malba. But that's one of the reasons I used to escape from this village all the time, because you can't get proper Persian chili bali malba here, right? So I used to go home, and I used to get my mate to come around and make it for me. He's like a top chef in a hotel. He makes brilliant stuff. I mean, I try and make Persian chili bali malba here, but it ain't the real thing. But, oh, I love it. This is a man I watch all the time. I'll let you see it now. He's a particular hero of mine because I'm a young lad trying to make his way in show business, all right? I'm 23 years old and I want to make it big. And so I watch this man because he's like a guru. He's my rabbi, right? Because if I could be half as good technically as Mr. Nigel Dempster, I'd be very happy, all right? First rule of television, find your camera. It's no good doing that. No good me trying to talk to you and looking off there. Got to find the camera. Nigel's on a boat. And I'm coming to you directly no. from a helicopter no, that's, which is above us, I hope boat. you can hear. Camera's and over here, that's it, he's done Tonight it. I'm going to be out and about in London meeting people who are celebrating similarly. Those who have got other things to, to celebrate like he's LWT. Shut, yeah, move away, cameraman trying to disassociate himself. <laughs> here with me is Sergeant John Gospedge. Good evening, John. Good evening. How many launches have you got here? We've got four River boats patrolling this section this evening. And I imagine this is a 24-hour job. Yes, it is. No, yes. we go on what at night, people can do what they want. What sort of villainy is out on the river? <laughs> there are all sorts. Uh, uh, there's a lot of private craft out here. More Great about, question coming up. There's from boats. Uh, we have people who jump off bridges that we rescue and bodies of Little course joke. that we recover. No. I imagine the people who jump off bridges aren't doing it just to have a swim. <laughs> uh, no, not, not, not in every case, no. What would you say to anyone looking tonight? Would, would you suggest that they jump off a bridge? <laughs> <laughs> would you suggest they jump off a bridge? <laughs> River policemen? Oh, I've got somebody here from the fire brigade. Anyone looking in tonight, what would you suggest? They leave a cigarette smouldering by the curtain? <laughs> I'm gentlemen here from the traffic police. Any advice? Uh, I have 12 pints of lager, drive 120 miles around the M25. <laughs> Nigel, you're a hero. The water's dirty, is it? Water's dirty. Yeah. And, <laughs> and while Gary Wells, piece of Gary Wells, is driving, I've got on my left here. Dick. And uh, what exactly? Let's have a look here. I, I missed the name of the bloke there. Who have you got on your left? Piece of Gary Wells is driving, I've got on my left here. Dick, how Dick. are you? Oh, I'm fine. You're Thank Dick. You very much, Nigel. Dick Patton. Have you had any crime on the river in the last 24 hours? Yeah, I killed a fish. Uh, very little, very little. It's been very quiet. I think they're building up for the old WT 21st anniversary. What would you advise any villain tonight? Stay away? No, come down here. Because <laughs> there's going to be millions of people, any amount of pickpockets in here, and they'll all park their cars. Have the windows inside their stereos. I don't deserve to have stuff. Nigel, uh, Nigel, let's carry on, because I love him. I'm here on the embankment next door to the only floating police station in the world and I'm actually looking for a lift but it's got to be a special sort of lift because I'm on a car that's also celebrating a birthday and believe it or not this is the 30th anniversary of the Mini. Do you remember the Mini? Do you remember the Mini? Yeah, they still make them, Nige. <laughs> that's like saying, do you remember this afternoon? Well, I'm trying to find one. Somewhere on the embankment here Where could there's a Mini. Where could be one? I shall find one. The Surely they haven't set one up. Today. Come back this way. Oh, there's one. A white, beautiful mini. And inside, a star of the 60s and an even greater star of the... Kathy McGowan. <laughs> I don't know if you... Kathy McGowan's in the car, right? And she was a big star in the 60s, OK? And what he wants to say is, Kathy McGowan, a star of the 60s and an even greater star of the 80s. And he realises that she ain't done nothing since the 60s. <laughs> and he bites his tongue. Listen. A white, beautiful mini. And inside... A star of the 60s and an even greater star of the... Kathy Look. McDonald. How are you? <laughs> can't bring himself are you going to drive anywhere away, I can he? very safe with you. You're the safest driver. Kathy, can we go to Savoy? Yes, the Savoy. Look, I'm the Savoy. On we go. Right, the straight to the Savoy. Savoy. Go straight down the embankment, turn right across Parliament Square, uh, up Victoria... Or, or just stop there, then. <laughs> just pull in and stop there. That's all you need to do, really. Oh, I love him, Nigel. I'm sorry, this is awfully rude, isn't it? I'm starving. We've been here quite a while, chatting away. And I'm hungry. I'm just having some uh, Persian chuli bali malba. Have you ever had that? Do you like it? <laughs> no, Persian chuli bali malba. Oh, it's, it's ambrosia. It's food of the gods. Mmm. If you're ever in a restaurant and they're serving Persian Chuli Bali Malba, get some. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm sorry, I've, I've, I've had enough. I'll have some later. Persian Chuli Bali Malba. We'll, we'll have a bit more Nigel. I love it. 
I'm going to go back to the Savoy because Nigel should have made it down below into he's, the kitchen. So he's the got king of TV wear. technique, Nigel. Nigel, you're on. Nigel. Nigel! Jim, the Christine team is in the boy kitchen. Oh, that's my lady, the chef. Cuisine, he comes around my house and makes my food. Nigel. Now, what are you going to prepare for the 21st birthday of LWT and the 100th birthday of the Savoy? You're going to do a pesce on Julie Bella Melba. I'm doing it! Nigel, where are you? I am on the sixth floor of St. Thomas's Hospital right. with midwife Fries. Right, Nigel's now at St. Thomas's Hospital. It's the 21st birthday celebrations of uh, London Weekend Television. What they've decided is this. They're going to find a baby who's born today, closest to, I think, six o'clock, which is the time they first went on air. That'd be a wonderful thing, wouldn't it? And this would be their kind of special baby, so he's going to see if there is one. Emma Kirk. Emma, any babies? Yes, we've got five babies who were born today. Which is the most recent? Travis. Can Travis, see you. please, come on. Baby Travis. Is this Travis's mother? Is this Travis's, Travis's mum? mother, Elise. Yeah, this is Travis's mum, Elise. Elise, good evening. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. And what's the little baby called? What's the little... <laughs> Come in. Good morning, sir. Could I take your order for breakfast now? Um, yeah, just give me some scrambled eggs, would you? Anything with that, sir? Mm, no, just the scrambled eggs, thank you. Just the scrambled eggs, then, is it? Yes, just the scrambled eggs. Certainly, sir. And how would you like your eggs, sir? 